Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, naturally, Dr. Tash, your favorite doctor on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, if you are a new subscriber, please do click on the subscribe button, okay? It's free, it's not going to cost you anything. And if you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to uh, click on that notification bell. Today's video, guys, is going to be about some of the perks or the advantages of living abroad. Uh, for somebody that has lived abroad for years and years and years and years, I've lived uh, in China more specifically. Uh, for over six years now going to seven right and uh, i thought i should you know talking from my experience i should actually make a video uh, about what are some of the advantages right of living in another country that is not your own right so i relocated uh from south africa i'm south african i relocated from south africa in 2016 right of which i um was coming to China for the purpose of studying. I got accepted in a medical school on an island called Hainan, right? And uh, that is where I actually spent my time studying, right? And uh, I graduated a couple of months ago and uh, now all the way relocated. I'm living in the capital of China. I'm living in Beijing as a full-time worker okay so the first advantage that i can think of uh, is the cultural immersion right moving to a different country guys will teach you a whole lot about different people right that you wouldn't necessarily get uh within your country you get to see how people live you get to experience different things like uh culture shocks right you get to experience the food right um you get to experience the language if i was living in south africa when was i going to learn to say um ni hao or ta jia hao well it means this is right what's your sway what's your name when was i going to let you say all of that guys <laughs> If I was living uh, in South Africa, so definitely one of the perks of, you know, moving to another country, especially a country that does not speak English, is actually cultural immersion. Immersing yourself in the culture, immersing yourself in the people's language, immersing yourself in uh, the experience of the people, um, and just seeing how other people live, man, is a, a very important thing. It broadens your mind, uh, it gives you a new perspective on life, and you get to learn another language, guys, that you wouldn't necessarily know had you stayed in your country, right? So the second thing that I would say um, is an advantage, right, of living uh, in another country. You get to develop your self-esteem. And this is something that I've actually talked about on my Instagram stories. Um, growing up, you guys, I was relatively a reserved, um, what you would call shy person. And, uh, you know, I was the smart child, but I was also the child who, even if I knew the answer to certain things, I would never pick up my hand and say it, right? And I don't know, for some reason, life always had a way of forcing me to, like, be in the forefront right as much as i didn't want i don't know if you guys experienced this but like i'm a scorpio by nature and scorpios we're generally just like reserved people we're chilled out we don't really want to be in the spotlight you know even though we might know a lot of things um but we just don't generally like to papa right <laughs> we don't like to like you know just like be out there and stuff like that right although we actually people who have a lot to say about things and have a lot of, a lot to contribute to life so moving to another country helped me to actually improve 
my self-esteem and it actually helped me to find my voice and it helped me in different ways because you know now you're in a country where they don't speak your language so you've got to eat you've got to get your way around certain places you know you're gonna have to come out your shell and you know ask the shushu over there and say uh shushu uh, what, what, what's a mature right i want to go to this place um i want to go to this hotel or this place how do i get there right and you're gonna have to speak to them in the in language that they understand and for you to do that, you're going to have to come out your shell, right? You're going to have to, you know, swallow your, that, that shyness and put yourself out there, right? And meet different people, right? Um, you're going to have to speak to different people because now you're not with your, you, like the environment that you know, you're not like with your family or your friends, right? You are all alone. Guys, let me tell you something, right? If you want to develop a, your self identity right and you want to establish yourself and establish your self esteem go to a country that you don't know live abroad alone i'm telling you you are going to develop yourself character faster than you think because it's there where you are going to find yourself it's there where you're going to find your voice it's there where you're going to figure out actually no I don't like living with people. I actually like living alone. Actually, no, I don't like this type of food. This is what I like. Actually, no, um, I don't agree with that. You're going to live in that country and you're going to get to experience a lot of things. You know, formulating opinions, finding your self-esteem. Uh, you could even potentially open up a YouTube channel. Hello. <laughs> just open up the channel by virtue of just speaking what was on my mind. And that is where I realized, you know, looking back and I said, no, but actually, yeah. I actually do have a voice in this world, right? So if there's one thing that uh, living abroad can do for you is to help you build your self-esteem, right? Help you have a better self-esteem and, you know, about yourself and, you know, about your, your, your place in society and about your place in the world. Next advantage that I'd say uh, living abroad, also due to my experience, is that you get to de develop new life skills. So a lot of people actually don't know because I've never shared these stories before, <laughs> but um, I came to China for the purpose of studying, right? And I did that and uh, woo, completed my degree and whatnot, but I got to develop other life skills um, because I got met with other opportunities. So for example, YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel when I was in China. I got to learn to edit. I got to learn to record. I got to learn to speak, right? So it improved my, like, my speaking skills. It improved not only my confidence to go out there and say what I have to say with confidence and convincingly so. By virtue of just having a YouTube channel and speaking, right? Um... I also got presented with opportunities in China. For those of you that don't know, I actually know how to sing. And uh, I would get booked for corporate events. <laughs> That's something I never spoke about, but yeah, it happened. I would get booked for corporate events and uh, I would play in bars and bands and I would sing in front of people. Me, like a shy, reserved girl, right? I got presented with jobs guys that i never would have thought that i you know i would have done if i was back in south africa and that includes uh being in the esl space being in the teaching space just by virtue of being here being a south african a young south african woman you know who's educated i'm getting presented with opportunities right they could change lives you know what i mean you get to learn new life skills when you are abroad Right. Uh, that's the third point. The fourth point is that you actually become self-reliant. If you want to become independent, I'd say move to another country. Moving to another country is going to do that for you faster than anything. Because now you're at a space where you're not in the comfort of your mom's house or your father's house. Uh, you know, where maybe you were used to your mother doing your laundry for you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, there's a roof over your head there's electricity they're cooking for you you don't have to contribute to groceries moving to another country guys is going to teach you a lot about being self-reliant because there you only have you and yourself your parents your friends your family are miles ten thousands of miles away and everything that you face right uh you're facing on alone Yes, you'll have like people that you connect with, your friends and stuff like that they are, that are around. But mostly you're going through your problems alone, right? So for example, in my apartment right now, if the electricity cuts or if something happens right now, I'm alone. <laughs> I have to find a way to solve the problem. So you become a problem solver. Uh, you become self-reliant, right? You, you become independent, living in a foreign country will teach you how to make money it will teach you how to open up businesses it will teach you how to think out of the box it will like teach you about independence next point that i'm going to make is about expanding your professional network by living abroad guys you get to meet people and i always say that you know you don't meet people on accident in life and uh some of these people are connected to your destiny you might meet your future boss you might meet your future husband you might meet your um like a lot of people right so expanding your network and more especially your professional network because you get to meet uh with different people so i've got to meet doctors in china professors and like you know, people who are established, you know, who are working in different fields and stuff like that. I've got to meet uh, teachers and like, um, they're not just teachers, by the way, because mostly the teachers that are in China have other qualifications, right? So you get to meet people who have engineering degrees and like they've got IT degrees and they've got medical degrees, you know, you just get to meet a whole lot of new people, uh, 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 you know, in this, in this network field, then you never know, you know, what these people might bring to your life. So that's another good thing, right? And also you get to network. So if you are somebody who's into business and stuff like that, you get to meet in China, more specifically in China, you get to meet a whole lot of business people, people who can create things for you, people who can, you know, do things for you, ship things for you. It's so limitless. It's crazy, right? So that's one thing I would say that moving to another country or the advantage of moving to another country of can do for you. This is my favorite, favorite point because uh, I love to travel. So obviously moving to another country, guys, can help you to travel, right? Um, so I've got to travel and I'm still, I still want to travel, but obviously because of the pandemic situation, I've got to travel to different countries, you know, uh, travel to Dubai. I got to travel to Doha. I got to travel to Ethiopia. I got to travel like places that you would never really see had you stayed at home. I've got to travel inside of China. So I've been to Shanghai. This is my second time in Beijing of which I'm actually living here. I've got to travel to places like tropical places, Sanya, uh, Chonghai, uh, what, Jianjiaqo, like the different, different places. So uh, traveling, you guys, and even, you know, when you're in China, it's just that now there's a lot of pandemic, but even traveling to neighboring places like your Indonesia and your your Thailand and things like that, it's so accessible because, I mean, it's just a couple of, it's just a flight away, you know, from here, you know, compared to being like in your home country. So traveling is definitely a perk. And uh, last but not least, finances. If you are a person who is working overseas, right? And you're not necessarily studying. Um, if you're working overseas and you're getting paid, right? By that particular country and you're sending that money back home, that is definitely a perk. Right, because we have to remember the currency is different, uh, the the ratios of the currency is different, and uh, the Chinese yuan right now is you know very strong. You know China has got one of the most booming economies right now, and stable economies right now. And so if you're you know in China, guys, and you're getting money from China, consider yourself lucky because um, the conversion rates are crazy. Um, the transport systems are efficient. Things work around here. The taxis work. 
uh, the subways work. You don't have to ever struggle about thinking about, oh my gosh, how am I going to make it to the office? Or how am I going to make it to my school? Or how am I going to make it? Wherever it is that you're going, things are efficient. Things work. The subways work. The trains work, right? I book a cab right now. I get into a cab. I'm gone, you know, in the estimated time that, you know, I know I'll, that I'll make it to the place. So efficient, right? I thought that I should make this video to actually give you some of the perks, you know, of, you know, how it is to live abroad and what are some of the advantages if you are somebody who's thinking of you know relocating uh what would be the perks what would be you know the advantages that you know living abroad could bring uh to you so i hope that helped you and uh, don't forget that eating and living well is a form of self-respect so uh respect yourself